making his way to the MFC ring, representing Russia, Viktor Bogutsky. Our penultimate contest of the evening, another heavyweight encounter, King Kong, Viktor Bogutsky. A heavyweight, the essence of what a heavyweight fighter is, in my opinion, Viktor Bogutsky has been in the MFC ring many times before in the past, originally from Russia, now living here full time in Germany. His last fight was an easy first round KO victory at MFC 25 against an opponent who was filling in uh, for his original opponent in the last minute, but he's gonna have his work cut out for him tonight at MFC 26 against Invar Schlivar. From Bosnia, Enver Shleva. The Iron Bull, Enver Shleva, 34 years old. That's three years older than Bogutski. He is shorter, though. Originally from Bosnia, now based in Switzerland, a three time kickboxing world champion. was scheduled to fight in June, but uh, his opponent backed out of the matchup the last minute. Now I'll tell you what, that happens a lot with big heavyweight guys like this. Sometimes it's hard to find an opponent for some of these guys. So I'm glad that Mixed Fight Championship was able to make it happen. They were able to get two of the top heavyweight kickboxers in this part of the world and put them in the ring on the big stage on television all around the world to really see who's the best. Both guys well over the 100 kilogram minimum for the heavyweight division here in Mixed Fight Championship. Two very large, massive individuals who pack a powerful punch. And as cliche as it is that one punch can really end it all, I've seen it, <laughs> I've seen it from both of these guys. And I know the kind of power that they possess. Sometimes it's scary. And so these two are gonna have to be very, very careful in there. They are playing Russian roulette inside the ring. The following bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of K-1 rules kickboxing action in the MFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 190 centimeters and weighed in at 120 kilograms. His record, 16 victories, opposite four defeats with 12 wins via knockout. Representing Russia, Victor King Kong Bogutsky. His opponent fights out of the right corner. He stands 184 centimeters. His official weight 106.6 kilograms. His record 36 victories, opposite five defeats with 20 wins via knockout. Representing Bosnia, the Iron Bull, Enver Shleba! Uh, Kassel, Germany, famous for a few different things. One of them, actually, the Brothers Grimm, who are, uh, lived in Kassel, and that's where they wrote a lot of their fairy tales, like Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel. I tell you what, some of those fairy tales were kind of dark, right? I mean, children being eaten, you know, being kidnapped in the forest. It's almost like we've got some kind of a sick fairy tale unfolding in the MFC ring right now. Two scary individuals you would not want to meet in a dark forest somewhere. Heavyweight action at the Ice Sports Hall in Kassel, Germany, Mixed Fight Championship. 26, here we go. Kickboxing rules in this one.
feel the anticipation building here between these two behemoths, and here we go. Dubutsky scores first with a low kick. Schlesar lays it in, a right hand. Lays it right down the middle. Bogutski firing back now. And I'll tell you what, you can feel the tension inside of the ring right now. Both guys look calm, but they are really mixing it up. Well, every time I see Bogutski, he's got a lot more tattoos. He's not going to have any skin left pretty soon. Both men kind of just standing their ground there. Neither one making too much forward movement, but Schlivar from time to time really striking powerfully with the low kicks. Unloading with a right hand too. It's like a time bomb, like a ticking time bomb with these two inside the ring. There's moments where it doesn't seem like much is happening, and then there's other moments where there's just these very quick, violent explosions. Half the time gone by already in round one. There's that low kick again, which Bogutski's trying to get his leg out of the way, but Schlivar continues to tag it as he's doing so. I think Bogutski needs this win. He's Over the years in Mixed Fight Championship, Bogutski's had a number of high-profile matchups, uh, but has come out on the short end of the stick most of the time. He's been in there with, oh, wow, a crack, cracking back fist that time from Schlevar. Oh, Bogutski fires right back. Oh, we've got ourselves a fight now, folks. with the low kicks. Bogutski and Schlivar watching each other very carefully before they open up. Closing seconds of round one. Are we going to have one more explosion or not? With two extra shots after the bell, and he dropped Bogutski. He dropped him. Those were after the bell, so it will not count as a knockdown. But the damage has been done. Blocky, Victor. Blocky, Victor. Well, you can take another look at it, folks. Right at the end of round one, Schlevar continued to punch. You can see the referee already stepping in there. The bell had already rung, and then Bogutski got his bell rung. Just when you think you've seen everything here tonight at Mixed Fight Championship, the surprises just keep coming. Now, the question is now, how is Bogutski feeling right now? He had one minute in the corner to recompose himself. But uh, has the damage been done? It seems to have infuriated Bogutski now. What a bizarre night it has been here in Kassel, Germany. 
things have just been out of control the entire evening. Bogutski, oh, he tagged him. Bogutski got him good with the right hand that time. Slevar falls forward now, lost his balance there. The corner of Bogutski calling for more pressure, more action, calling for him to move forward. Bogutski, though, very careful at times. Looks like he still has, uh, has not shaken out the cobwebs completely. Jumping knee that time, and caught him underneath the rib cage. it looks like, and Boguski doubled over here in pain. This one will count as an eight count. Is he gonna make it or not? No, he's not! Boguski made it to a standing position, but didn't have enough to continue the fight. Schlevar wins in round two. I'm not sure that Bogutski ever had a chance to recover from that knockdown at the end of round number one. Schlevar, maybe he didn't hear the bell, or maybe he just simply couldn't stop himself. But whatever the case was, he knocked down Bogutski after the bell, and then it didn't take long in round number two for Schlevar to be able to capitalize on that. I think it was a knee, I think it was a, a hard knee, maybe at, at the base of the rib cage, perhaps in the liver. See if we can get another look at it here. Schlevar hit him with a knee, I believe. Boom, there it was, oh yeah. Right underneath the rib cage in the guts. Boom. Right at the base of the rib cage. Just got his vital organs rearranged. And we will get the official announcement momentarily from Mike Markham. The referee stops the bout in round number two. Your winner by technical knockout, the Iron Bull Inverse Schlieva. Folks, what else could we possibly see tonight? We still have the main event of the evening coming up. Anything's possible. <laughs> 